and welcome back to the Thousand Year Door. Uh, the Paper Mario, the second one. Uh, the good one. Um, so, it's just me tonight, your host, Tanner, and as you may notice how quiet it seems, um, Ezra is not with me at the moment. He's uh, currently out of town, uh, but I just call him on the phone. He's on his way home. Uh, and so, uh, I don't know if I mentioned this in our last episode of this, um, but since, uh, like, we were, uh, since, uh, Ezra was, uh, planning to be out of town today, uh, I thought that, uh, I could run down to, uh, run down at least, like, 50 of the, 50 floors of the Pit of the 100 Trials just to get the Strange Sack. Uh, so that way I can increase the space in my item inventory. Uh, but I'm not sure how far down I will get to. Um, I recall that there is a trouble that is involved with going down there. Like about 20 floors or so. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to try to get down to 50. So on the way down... I could get the uh, the Sleepy Stomp badge, the Fire Drive badge, the Zap Tap badge, if that's the same one I'm thinking of in uh, Paper Mario 64. That's a pretty good badge. Then the Pity Flower badge. I don't know what that is. Um, and then the Strange Sack. So, so before, so I, I don't know if this will be just one, uh, one episode, this whole session. Or uh, if I don't get down that far, I might just uh, cut some pieces of this episode apart and then like uh, just add it to uh, the next episode where we proceed with the main story of the game. So the very first thing I'm going to do is uh, get this big chest out of that platform so I can open it and get the ultra hammer definitely gonna need this when I go down there hi it's me again Toadette nice to see you again way to find the ultra hammer now your hammer will be even more powerful and you can also use new hammer technique let's practice it right away it's just like with the super hammer so no problem Hold down B and rotate the control stick until your body gets twisty. Then release B to use your, your Ultra Hammer. Remember to twist a lot before releasing B, okay? Alright. Yes. Hold, y yes, I know. I'm trying to do it. So I gotta get really... Oh, is that it? I thought I could twist up even more. Way to go! You got it! Wanna try again? Uh, no, I've got it. All right, you've mastered the Ultra Hammer. Using your Ultra Hammer, you can even break blocks made out of stuff like this. So very useful. And you can use the Ultra Hammer in battle too. Uh, um, this is kind of sad. This is the last time I'll get to see you, Mario. Definitely save Princess Peach, okay? And and be careful in your quest, okay? <laughs> Alright, so Ultra Hammer Got that, so we're going to save after that So, before I go down to the Pit of the Hundred Trials I'm just going to do a few things up here first Um, so Any goods Okay, so It's saved from uh, the last time we were here, increase summer by one, but lose the ability to jump. Uh, eh, that's by one. That's uh, that's a lot. Uh, okay. Maybe, maybe I don't know. I'll, I'll come back down. There's a bad shop uh, just up here, outside of the inn. So I'm gonna run over there.
Okay. So, the first attack, I think that this and the chill-out badge, both of these badges will not work down there. Uh, attack effects pink. So, I mean, that's a fun one. Uh, close call and power whip recipe. So, what are my badges? So, close call and power rush P. Okay, I do have close call. Will the, will the, uh, if I get another one of this, will the effect stack? Is what I'm wondering. Got the super appeal. Ah, oh, and then the quick change takes down a lot. Uh, may as well unequip this. Um, so, Mega Rush P. Wait, Mega Rush P. Is that? Oh, no, this is a Power Rush P. Increase attack power by two when Mario's in danger. Uh, your partner is in peril. So, I got the... Ah, oh, if I could just go back. Okay, so, close... Close call. And power rush P. I have one of this, but I don't have uh, this one. So I'll get that. Mars in danger cause enemies to sometimes miss. I am curious if the effect will stack. Uh, probably wouldn't hurt. Just for safety. Okay. Uh, but this... I mean, this is a good batch to have. It won't work down there, but... Whenever I'm going to be out and about... That might be a good... Might be a good batch to have. Um, oh! How many Shine Swords do I have? I have six. And six star pieces. Um, let me, uh, bring out Kayo, because I wonder if there's just a regular appeal bat for Mario over at, uh, Don Pianta's, uh, casino, or the Pianta Parlor. Okay, oh, hey! Hey, it's you again! It looks like we kind of owe you one, so yeah, thanks. Hi, hello there, Mario. Welcome to the parlor. Rescuing the princess is important. What can I show you? Uh, wait, I can buy the refund badge again? Why? Um, no, a s super appeal would be good. Would be good to have. So I need 34 Pianta coins. Uh, okay. Hello, Mario. I am Pianta Changer. Okay. So I need 30... Four is what I need. So wait. So three coins. One, three. Just trying to do the math in my head. Okay, but I need... Alright. So I need to pay a hundred. I need that. Uh, so then... Three, six, nine, twelve. Yeah! I guess we'll just have one... Bianta. It's... One extra pianta. That should be fun. Wait, did I not? Okay, all right. I, th I thought I paid for uh, 10 coins like twice or three times. No, twice. It's twice. Okay, the super appeal one. Okay, nope, that's good. Um, oh! All's one pianta for you, Mario. Oh! Oh, so you just, like, hang on to it for me. Oh! Okay. That was fine. Uh, how many do you want on star points right now? 66! Okay, so I'm close to leveling up. Uh, oh, wait! Uh, may as well go to the item shop over here. 
Okay, so item inventory. So I got two life shrooms. That's good. Tasty tonic. Whack bump. That's good. Uh, yeah, that's not gonna help. The omelet meal. Uh, a feel great mushroom. Maple syrup's not bad. I want to have some attack items, though. Uh, I'm here to store. Gradual syrup. And omelet meal. Uh, I'm going to store the ultra shroom for later. Okay, um, no, I think we're good. And then I'll take, okay, so, I'm trying to think. So is it back at the shop in the XX Express? Oh, excuse me, XS Express. It's got a maple syrup there. I think it has it there. Yeah, and the lightning item just deals uh, one, uh, or it deals five damage, but only attacks one enemy. Uh, do I have anything in the stock? Okay, I do have another Tasty Tonic. Uh, Jim and Julie. Uh, Golem Leaf's not bad. I can take that. Okay, so Tasty Tonic. And then... Golden Leaf. Okay, if I were to take one more. Uh, so I got three Ultra Shrooms and two Gem Jellies. So those are okay. Um, maybe one more Life Shroom shouldn't hurt. That should be fine. Okay, let's review here. So I got, oh, can I sort them? Ah, oh, so much better. Okay, so two super shrooms, uh, three life shrooms, uh, a maple syrup, whack bump, golden leaf, and two tasty tonics, because there, there are at least a few poisonous enemies down there. Um... Some spiky enemies. It looks like... Okay, I'm looking at the, the guidebook. It's like the very last page of the book. Um, it looks like there's at least one enemy that can poison you. Or, or two. It looks like two. Uh, okay. So now... I'm going over to Merlin's house to upgrade my partners... And then, Dazzle was his name? Uh, possibly buy some items from him? And plus I also want to, like, explore uh, the sewers. Now that I have, like, the, the Ultra Boots, and, you know, the, the Hammer, and all the partners, so I may as well, like, do some exploring. So, who... Would be good. I've only get, I only can level up two. You can use Infatuate to confuse all enemies. No. You can use Stampede to attack all ground enemies. So cute. So uh, Kayo would be good for gold because then his base attack would increase by one. Okay, you can use. Dodgy Fog to make Mario dodgy, so that's pretty good. The rally point. Um, okay. To attack all ground enemies. Uh, hmm. And oh, there's. Ooh, there's some enemies I'm looking at 
that has like really high defense. So I'll probably need that uh, that piercing hammer. That might actually be useful. Um, and and uh, Kayo's gulp. So I think the idea for this will be to survive. So let's let's go with flurry. So I can use uh, the dodgy fog, and plus, like she can hit like any enemy uh, with her uh, body slam, the body force. I don't remember what it's called. It's been a while since I had her out in combat. Okay. So, Flurry's maxed out. Um, use Rally Wing to up Mars attack turns by one. So, emphasis on turns. So, will Mario be strong for multiple turns, or is it just for one turn only? Is what I want to know. Uh, okay. Uh, stampede ground enemies I'm gonna have to say no to Vivian or ah, well she also attacks everyone too but the fiery jinx is also kind of expensive hang on I'm gonna look up I think in the partners guide it shows like how much FP costs okay uh, oh hold on Almost there. Almost there. Okay, so Dodgy Fog is 4 FP, so a little expensive, but not too bad. Uh, oh! Uh, Coop's Shell Slam. This uber powerful Shell Slam strikes every ground based enemy and ignores their defense stats if you execute it well. Okay, so it strikes every ground-based enemy. So, will that dark wizard, whatever its name, will it be like flying high up in the air? Or does it have the option to? Okay. Um, so that's a possibility. Okay, then, Goombilla's Rally Wink. The Rally Wink gives Mario the courage to launch an extra attack during the round, regardless of whether he's already taken his turn. Oh, so it gives you an extra turn. Oh, okay. Well, that's not bad. And, okay, that's also 4 FP. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Um, okay, then Stampede. Okay, Koyo's and costs 6 FP. Ugh. Uh, the Stampede calls in a herd of Yoshis to attack all ground-based enemies. Uh, yeah. Yeah, we already got Bobbery and Miss Mouse. So, yeah. I... Say, yeah, I think... Uh, Goombella might be a good choice. Hope this isn't gonna be a terrible mistake later. <laughs> Then you may go. Okay, Kumbella's strong. Uh, okay, then there was Trouble Center over here. Okay, um, something about like help me find my dad. I think hit me, please. I'm hungry. Try to find me. Uh, help my daddy. Okay, I think it's this one. Oh, my dad is in the world of hurt down there. Please, you gotta help him. I'm waiting at the entrance to the pit of 100 trials beneath Rogue Port. Okay, yeah, just to double check, I want to see if that's like the only quest or side quest that. Ooh, excuse me. That just uh, 
takes you down there. Okay, I haven't unlocked this yet, because I haven't gone to the far outpost, which is in the next chapter. Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, help me daddy, help my daddy. So I may as well accept this in the meantime. Um, oh, is there, oh yeah. So how do I, okay, I have to go to the back. And I got something in my eye. Eh. All right, I'm just gonna float on down. Oh, there's a, oh, there's a shine sprite back there. Okay. I wonder if I can find more in the underground. Oh, can I go over here? What's over here? Oh, it's nothing. Well, that was just a great amount of useful time right there. What's here? Ooh, you got double dip. Use two items in one turn. So that'll be useful. Ah, oh, sorry. I feel like I, yeah, I feel like I got something in my eye on my contact lens. It's not seeing too bad. Um. Okay, so for this, I have to to get across. I have to go back out from where I came and use Kayo. Uh, to float across this gap. Okay. Over here. And then I can just slide through the back here. Yeah. Alright, cool. Okay, there we go. Now we can go to the underground, uh, to the sewers. Oh, I almost for forgot. I need to go to, uh, what's her name? Over here. Hey, thank you so much. Okay. So, I just remembered, uh, since uh, her curse has been such a big help, and uh, the effects wear off, I'm gonna have to renew the curse. Uh, the special path, please. So, hopefully, we can get, like, a lot of coins and or experience points when we go through the Pit of Hundred Trials. Or at least, you know, boost attack, defense. Alright, thank you. And then that's right. I have to go on the other side if I want to get that chest. Okay, let's go. Uh, I think I have... Yeah, I have. I just went through there last time. Or one of the last times we recorded here. This... Let's pull out Bobbery. There we go. Alright, what's in here? Okay, defend plus partner. Boost your allies' defense by one. So that will be useful. Or at least it's just a good thing to have. Okay. What's over here? Who's here? Oh, it's just a star piece? Okay. 
Hmm, okay. Yeah, that's just it. It's just a start piece. Wait, hold on. I just remembered something. I think I can use the Ultra Jump in this area. Yeah. I remember your secrets game. So it's over here. Oh. 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 Okay, I'll take that. If I could find one more, then I could probably power up one more partner. So hold on, I gotta do this. Yeah. Uh, Koyo, could you um, get off for a second? Okay, cool. Yeah, there's like a room that has this free shine sprites. So that That's basically just a free power up right there. Got some more enemies. And now that I have the Ultra Hammer, I can smash that. So I'm gonna come back here in a minute. There's that one room right there. Where does that go? Is it a uh, spiky room? That I'll leave with Vivian? Oh, hi! Hey, everybody! How's it going? Okay, I think I might need the... The Quake Hammer for this. Okay, oh yeah, I, I have it equipped. I have it equipped. Um, oh, let's, let's experiment a little bit. So, I'm gonna equip that. And then, yeah, it's power, refund, some of your partner. Probably gonna need to chill out, you know, just in case. Oh, wait. I need Goombella. I need Goombella. Well, well I mean, I know I have the, the quick change badge, but I, I would just like to have her on. Okay. Okay, so let's experiment a little bit. So, Mario Charge. And Green Bell use Rally Wink. Tap AB is shown. Okay. Okay. So I guess I don't need to use a charge for that. Oh. Okay. Let's see, what about the Ultra Hammer? Strike an enemy, not get it into the enemy plant. Is it just a stronger version of this? Okay, that does. That is a lot better than Super Hammer. So it can deal three damage to the enemies behind, like all of them. I think with a super hammer, it would just only deal one to the one behind the one run. But that makes sense. <laughs> it makes sense in my head, but it don't make sense when I speak. So I think I could just use the, the quake hammer normally. Oh! That Rally Wing... Really? Does the Rally Wing actually give me more damage? Uh, more strength? Really? It doesn't hit that one? from the ground. Dang, missed. Okay. So the Ultra Damage... The Ultra Hammer deals 6 damage now, so that's good. Okay, alright. Next up. Come on! 
Ooh! Someone's got a badge there. Okay. Uh, I would, I would like that badge. Okay. Okay. Uh, love slap. some extra FP. Ah, no. Okay, mainly looking for FP at this point. Okay, yeah, it's not bad. Wait, can I, can I steal it though? Yeah, I got it. The pretty lucky partner badge. Okay, cool. Alright, um. Okay, you struck first. Hammer. I don't like that I'm just getting like one experience point for doing this. It's not fun. It's not fun. Um, okay, it's one, two, and three. And there's that one enemy. Um, it's a stronger enemy. Ah, that's like right tucked up in there. Right, so that's 12. Um, I think I can use the art attack. Actually, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay, just remember that guy has 12. Or... Now I can use the Earth Tremor. I know I have the peekaboo badge, but this looks like it's from. Oh, yep, pit of hundred trials. Okay. Uh, ooh, attack is seven, defense is two. Ooh. Okay, let's just get a little taste. Oh, that's tough. That's tough. Close to leveling up again. 
That's good. Okay. And so... I will need... Uh, Kayo again. Right. Oh! Shoot. Oh, I got a time. Oh, that, yeah, that's the weird timing right there. So when this comes back. Yeah. Alright, got it. Cool. And it looks like in. Oh, in another room, there's a. I could get a spike shield badge. Oh, so that'll, that'll be very useful, as there are spiky in. So it's in that room, right there. So, wait. Hold on. Oh! <laughs> okay, I don't know if you heard that, but uh, some parts of the ceiling is falling apart. I don't know what's up with that. Okay, uh, I'm back. There's just some kind of, uh, uh, problem with the plumbing. What's in here? FP plus, okay, that's good. So this takes us to uh, Kiho Ki, or no, Pashali Heights. Pashali Heights, yeah. Okay. And uh, th this one, this one's got to take us to Kiho Ki, I think. I might be wrong, but. I'm certain it's that. Okay, cool. Steel hook key. Uh, I'm gonna need Vivian for this part. I don't remember. What? Did I come in here? Hold on. Do I have this? Bike badge already. It would have to be around the ice power, so I don't think I have it. Oh, okay, that was close. shield so I can safely jump on spiky enemies oh oh that was so close we still a mega rush that was a slow hammer in the air okay easy fight easy fight I'm gonna level up right away Cool, we leveled up before going to the Dev Hunter Trials. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. Alright. Uh, level up to... Yeah. Let's max out the badges. Let's find a Shine Sprite. Okay, Hocus Pocus Focus. Ah, ah, sorry. Let's see. Whoa. Goodbye. And hello. On 
on Rogueport's west side on the right of the second floor in the rightmost house. Oh, okay. That's not too far. You roll up and drop through a gap to find it in the backyard. Okay, good tip. Yeah, I see a backyard. I see it. So it's right here. I'm not sure. Huh. I don't think I've ever gone back here. All right, well, cool. I can level up two more partners now. So this takes me... <laughs> I come out of the dresser. I don't think I've ever noticed that. That's a funny little detail. Just sneaking into someone's drawers from the backyard. Oh, pretty lucky. Be I just got this one. Wait, that's a sleepy stomp. That's a fire drive. Oh, these are badges I could get in... Uh... Uh, in the Pit of Hundred Trials. Attack all ground enemies and burn them as well. Uh, well, oh, Sleepy Stomp. Uh, I don't know. And plus I got, let's see, Pretty Lucky P. I think, I'm pretty sure I got that. So, pretty lucky P. Yeah, yeah, I got one. Uh, but it could stack the effect, maybe. I don't know. Uh, head rattle. You know, I've already got that. Fire drive looks pretty cool, though. Attack all ground enemies and burn them as well. 3 BP. Sure. Um, uh, forty-four. Let me hang on to. The, yeah, I'm gonna stop spending coins right there. Uh, on to. Hold on. Actually, now let me go. You wait. What's this? Super Louis. <laughs> Super Luigi Book 1, super popular, now on sale! Um, I think that's just a gag item or something you don't really need to use. Um, I like to store. Ah, oh, but he, oh, what if I need that life shroom to revive that kid's dad? Okay. Um. Hmm. I'll get. I'll store the tasty tonic. No. It might be a bad idea. It might be a good idea to get the booth sheet. I don't know. Okay. There's only, like, three more Shine Sprites in the whole game, and I don't know where they are. Um, okay, let me look at the Partners page again. So for Coops, we got the Shell Slam. The uber-powerful Shell Slam uh, strikes every ground-based enemy and ignores their defense stat. If you execute it well, flick the control stick left repeatedly to fill the meter. So Shell Slam... So it can hit everyone. Uh, yeah, so it can hit everyone. And it ignores the enemy's defense. Uh, and Q Stampede. The Stampede calls in a herd of Yoshis to attack all ground-based enemies. Alternating between Eleanor to Phil Gage. You know, yeah, the cost is same. Yeah, the cost is same as a shell slam. And then there's Vivian's Infatuate. Vivian blows a kiss to every enemy on a stage in effort to confuse them for a few turns. Press save the instant the heart appears over a foe. Okay, so I will strengthen Coops and Vivian. 
Because really, the difference is that Co uh, Coop's Ultra Attack can, uh, you know, bypass um, an enemy's defense. So if an enemy's defense is like uh, 5, then Coop's can just ignore it. That's pretty good. Vivian. Ah, uh, but wait, there's a... Ah, uh, wait. But then again, there's Q's Gulp. Uh, let's see. How much damage does that deal? Let's see. Level 3 or 5. Ooh, well, that's... Ah, oh, that's pretty good, though. Okay, so level... Wait, why does it say 1 or 2 HP? Because when you first got Q, he would deal 4 damage, I think. Uh, but then... No, because... Okay, no. Actually, no. Let's, let's continue with Vivian. Let's continue with Vivian. Because we can, like, confuse enemies and then that'll throw them off. Whereas with uh, Gulp, it only deals damage to the one in front of uh, Kayo and the enemy behind the one in front. Then you may go. Okay, I think we're about ready, I think. Unless... Well, how are we doing on time? How are we doing on time? Uh, it's only been an hour. Uh, I wonder... You know what? There's only like three more Shine Sprites left. And I got all the locations available to go. Except for the Far Outpost. So I can just track those down. And level up uh, Koyo. And then everybody in my party's... Uh, leveled up. Okay. Uh, shine sprites. Okay, yeah, blah, blah. I'm gonna take my phone out so I can make quick notes of it. So your shine sprite. In the dense, eerie woods behind a tree beyond the big rock. Okay, so that's gotta be in the woods by Twilight Town. Okay. Will you say a different one? Or are you gonna say the same one? I'll feel... I'm gonna feel kind of ripped off if uh, if uh, you give me the same one. Okay. Oh, there aren't any shine sprites you can get right now. I'll return your coins to you. Okay, that's nice of you. That's nice of you. So, is it just? Are there two on the way? To the far outpost. Okay, so there are. Alright, I'm going to go uh, to the Thousand Year Door to, uh, you know, find the location of the next Crystal Star and then go to Far Outpost and uh, Twilight Town just to get the, the Shine Sprites. And then there, there's a certain character we have to talk to with Bobbery in our party uh, to proceed with the quest. So I'm going to do that. And we're back. So just to reiterate, in case if I have not mentioned in uh, the previous footage or episode just now, is that I'm going to get the last three Shine Sprites. One's in Twilight Town, one's in the next place that we have to go to, uh, which is the Far Outpost. And then we have to do like a little, uh, like run around the world. <laughs> Won't spoil it if you haven't played this game. 
uh, in order to proceed with the game. But uh, once we get to the next town, uh, I won't proceed with the story any further. I'm just going to get the Shine Sprites. And then I'm going to go for uh, the 50 floors in the Pit of 100 Trials right here. So that way, all my party members will be maxed out and we should be good. So without further ado, and with Mario skidding, let's proceed. So where will our map take us now? Hmm, it's kind of weird that there's a moon on top of the moon. Did you see that? We may have to rewind to have another look at that. The location of a crystal star was recorded on your magical map. My, 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 what's this now? The last crystal star, it can't possibly be there. Hmm. hmm. You know, I say I can't lead, but I can see pictures. That's on the moon. Hmm. If what this map indicates is true, the location of the final crystal star is... The moon. The moon? Isn't the princess trapped there too? Something about this doesn't seem right. Hmm. The problem here is how does one get to the moon? Quite a conundrum. Give me a moment to look into this. Excuse me, please. This shouldn't take long. Looking into this may take a little time, so come back in a bit, all right? Oh, really? Do I have to leave? Yes, mom. So, now do I go back in? And then you're done? Oh, it's supposed to be... This was supposed to be when I was supposed to uh, get the Ultra Hammer. I think. Yeah, I was supposed to get here. Oh, I hope I didn't break the game. Uh, I hope that's not the case. Okay, I'm just trying to go back a few spots. Uh, okay, after you learn the location of the final crystal star, one month later, da -da -da, inform the printer with the Ultra Hammer when you're ready to move upon. Yeah, okay, so we got that. So I guess just leave the area and then come back? So are we good? Can we proceed? Ah, uh, I think I. Oh, I'm kind of worried now. Oh, I'm kind of worried now. Underground, then go back up. Oh, I hope I didn't soft lock the game. I'm kind of worried. Hmm. No, that one, that this won't work either. What's that? Ah, yes, of course, that one book. It looks like this will take a while longer. Please come back later if you could. Oh, no! Did I softlock the game? Did I... I... Okay. Um... You know what? I think I may as well go get that... Go get those shine sprites. <laughs> you know? Um... 
Oh, this is kind of concerning. I I'm I'm concerned. I think I I'm, I'm worried that I broke the game. I think I got the ultra hammer too soon. Okay, and then, oh. Okay. Um oh wait, no, actually I want to check that out. This won't take long. So, what's this? Oh, ah! What's in here? Flower Saver P! Okay. So, it drops FP for my partner by one. Shine Sprite. Yeah, took out that quest. Oh, yeah, I saw it. Wait. Hold on. Oh. Ah, I see it. It's right there. There we go, got it. Okay, good, I didn't soft lock the game. Ah, excellent timing. I finally have it, Mario. I found a way that might just get you to the moon. You must go to Far Outpost, and you must use the cannon there, and it will blast you. We're using a cannon to get to the moon? Whatever you say, darling. I know how it sounds, really. To be honest, I'm not entirely sure of all the details. Accounts from Par Outpost speak of a device that can launch anything anywhere, even to the moon. Well, where is this Far Outpost, Professor? I believe there's a pipe to Far Outpost somewhere beneath Rogueport, but I'm not sure of the exact location. Yes, I believe it was hidden for some reason. If my information is correct, you need something called an Ultra Hammer to get it on it. Wait, one step ahead of you, buddy. An Ultra Hammer? But sweetie, we've already got one of those. Ah, well, I see. That certainly changes the subject now, doesn't it? Well, use that Ultra Hammer to find the pipe to the Far Outpost, then get to it. No problem at all, sweetie. Far Outpost it is. Ah, uh, yes, one more thing. You should be aware of. The bombs who live there are sort of a surly bunch. They may not let you use their cannon. You may have to negotiate with them. In any case, that's your problem. Good luck! Get that last crystal star! On the part- No! I didn't mean to fall off! Ah! Alright, I'll just try again. I'll just try again. It's fine. This is fine. This is fine. Okay. Okay. Oh, that was it. Okay, cool. And down we go. Second to the last chapter, everybody. We're getting there. Chapter 7. Mario shoots the moon. Don't shoot the moon, Mario! We all love the moon! Don't shoot it! Don't shoot the moon! It is stupid cold out here. Come on, Godzilla, let's move. Far outpost should be just up ahead, I think. You are. So, there might be some star pieces nearby. Or hidden in the trees. Oh, wait, no, there's one in the ground. Yeah. Yeah, I got my guidebook out of here with me, so I'm gonna find these out here. It'll be a cinch with this guidebook here. Well, I jumped on that guy. Okay, I'm kind of curious. Does ice enemies get more damage than fire? Not necessarily, no. Not quite helpful. 
Okay, got the Shine Sprite right there. Um... Okay. May as well get some XP on the way. Okay. Um... Let's see how this works. Press A the instant a heart appears over the enemy. Oh! That's... That's some weird timing right there. Okay. Uh... Showstopper. Because why not? No. I messed that up. Will that work? Just the one. Okay. Yeah, if we even can punch him. Ah, oh, five. It's not a bad punch. That's a good punch. But my inventory's full. Ah, oh, but this would be a good item. Uh, okay, th there is a shop coming up in the town. So, I will quickly toss this and use the maple syrup. Because I could use some FP right now. Okay. That would be a good item to have when I'm down there. Okay. Frost Piranhas. These guys are kind of a problem. Ten HP. So they're pretty bulky. Let's have Vivian attack everyone. Good. Right. Yeah, we can just... Okay, conserve the FP. Star points, that's not bad for a regular fight from enemies. That's pretty good. Uh, oh, wait, how far? This is, okay, there's a badge and a star piece up ahead. Sure, why not? I'll, uh, use my art attack. You're blue now. That's my attack. Oh, no. You're already blue. Sans, what should I do? The enemies are already blue. Sans! This is not Undertale. I'm in the wrong game. Okay, um... 
Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, there's a lot of you. Oh, there's a lot of you. Um. Uh, get rid of the tornado jump. And, uh, where's that spike badge? I want that spike badge. Ah, oh, that, mmm. Okay, I don't, I wanna, I wanna put an end to you. It's kinda hard to see you, Shadow. Ooh! That does a lot of damage. Vivian, a hand? Ooh, flower bonus? <gasps> Yay! Oh, I think this is our first actual legit bingo that we got. Oh, that's so great. Oh, that's so good. Oh, awesome. Oh, that was, that was fantastic. Okay, and yeah, double star points. It's uh, twelve star points. It's it's not bad. It's not good, but it's not bad. Oh, will that badge be there? Oh. Oh. Okay, let's make this quick. Um, Fiery Jinx. Okay, uh, and then Ultra Hammer, because why not? Okay, so it wasn't enough to take out those guys, but. They will die after their turn. Yeah, just like that. Okay, yeah, we're we're getting up there. We're getting up there. If only that doubled that time instead of the one before. Uh Star Piece. Yep. Is this Russia? Well, I say this because I think uh, the dialogue of these uh, bombs are Russian. So, this is Far Outpost. Where do you think they keep that cannon of theirs? Well, what do we find out? Let's get started by talking to the villagers. Welcome to Far Outpost. Whoa, that is quite good lip warmer you have got. Okay, now I, I now give you my... Special mustache viewing personality analysis. Da? Ah, hmm. Da, da, hmm. Da, da. I have got it now. A bushy bro means that you are stubborn and selfish man. So, how did I do? No, do not protest, I know. No one likes to admit their faults. Lisi's Bobom Village, the Bluey. There's nothing here, the Blamo. Hmm. It seems to be locked. Hello, Traveler. First time in Far Outpost? Kabooey? What? Far Outpost cannon? Huh. I apologize for that. No, I just had distraction. It is nothing. Kabooey? Snow is rare for you? Uh, Bacac? In Far Outpost, it falls all year round. Ba bang? I like watching it shine and glow of sunset. Bob Boomer. Well, that does sound nice. I make big snow Bob today. Maybe I am big as him someday. Papawi. But I do not want the melting to happen to me. Papoom. Snowmen, igloos, snow fights. Da, all good. Well, snow gets boring sometimes. Chaboom. 
Uh, and then we got, uh... Oh, Missouri Stash! I have tried too many times to talk to the girl in the inn, and she kicked me out. So now I must use the eat of my feelings for her to melt the snow. And yeah, good luck with that, buddy. Okay, some more items, some some good ones. Okay, they sell... Bombette, is that you? Da, da, welcome, welcome to the North Winds Mutt. We have many goods. What can be done for you? I would like to store. Uh... My... Life Shroom? And the taste of time. No. Uh, yeah, I store them. I store this. You like to store anything else? Da! I mean, yes! Uh, night. I mean, no. Come back, da! Wait. No, wait, night. Let's see. What, uh, how do you spell, uh, nine in German? Like, as a no. It's like, nine? It's like, nine! Okay, got in coupon. Um, how are we? Eh, yeah, I mean, we're good. Plus, we got some coins. I don't know if I get an item from here. Da, I'll stay. Use it. Have good sleep. The dialogue does seem to be Russian. I'm not sure if it's German, though. Ah, there is an item there. Your sleep was good, da? Enjoy the day. It's a space bar? Space food. Only 5 HP. Well, I mean, it's a unique item, but it's not really what I want. Not really what I need. Okay. Let's store space food. Okay. Um, so, I can buy two items here. So I can store, okay, I will buy, okay, I will store uh, the booze sheet. Okay. So, okay. So I will buy maple syrup. So I have two regular FP items. I'm here to withdraw. Uh, you know, I will buy an ice storm from here just so I have this one in my inventory for later. Da, I give this back to you. Uh, okay. Thanks. For six coins. It's not bad. You earned enough shop points. I congratulate you. Here's a prize for you. A fine super shroom. You are full. Come back after you sell a store. Okay. Uh, alright. A super shroom, you say. I store this. You like to store anything else? No. Come back, da. Uh, so... Okay, then there's a super shroom. Got it. Two super shrooms. Three life shrooms. Uh, a maple syrup and golden leaf. Whack bump, teeth tonic, and ice storm. So... Those will be our items for the Pit of Hundred Trials. Ah, nice cannon you got here. Well, I know nothing. Shabooey, I know nothing about Big Bomb Cannon. Shashum! Duh, what business do you have here? What? A cannon? No such thing as here. I don't know why you walked over there, Vivian. What do you want me to say? We do not have one. 
And so, uh, in order to proceed, we have to have Bobbery out here, but because Ezra's not here and this would just proceed uh, the story, we're not gonna do that. It is so peaceful. What blue? Far out post is nice. Restful place. What blue? Looking at night sky makes me feel vastness of space. Lots of space. Ba boom. And ba boom. Our last shine sprite. Okay, so we're back in Rogueport. Uh, so we got three shine sprites for Kayo. And uh, on our way back, I leveled up again. And uh, so now the theater's gone bigger. And it turns out I could actually increase my batch points by three more. So I wonder how far up that's going to go. But that means I can, you know, equip more badges. Uh, so that's that's a good thing. And if I just want to increase my HP or FP, I can just, you know, equip the HP badge or FP badge. So uh, Kaya is the only one left. Yes. Shazubi! Ah! Yay! Then you may go. You have no partners whom I can power up. So power up your partner, talk to me from the other side of the table. Yeah. He's done. He's done in the game. Can't do anything else with them anymore. Okay, now, as promised, we will go to the Thousand Year, uh, no, the, the Pit of 100 Trials. So I'll see you there in a second. So now we're at the Pit of the 100 Trials. I think I got my badges all set up. And, you know, I got my items ready. So these are the items we got. And these are the badges that I have equipped. So if you want to pause and have a look at those. And so the goal for at least uh, uh, this uh, Toad Boy's Trouble is that we have to rescue the dad around the 18th floor and then get on the 20th uh, to get the strange sack. We have to reach 50. And don't worry, I have uh, I've saved uh, just outside of the entrance. Like, really, that door just takes you to the thousand-year door. So, let's go in. Oh, come, come on, Mario, come on. I know you got the jitters, but let's go. Might as well get the uh, the advantage. Ooh, nice. Very well done. Okay, so striking enemies first is key to win this. Ooh, that was close. And so again, uh, the chill out badges, no, the, the chill out and first attack badges won't work. So either we just bump into each other, or I do the first strike, or they strike me first. Obviously, it's not bad now. So, I mean, like, I think you could, like, get this uh, side quest uh, for that kid, like, after you complete chapter two or three. And I know I got the spike badge to protect myself, but... I need to do that. Okay, headlock. J 
just don't double my star points if I'm just getting one. That will be a waste. Okay, so it looks like... I could be wrong. But it looks like... Um, wait, hang on. Are there any secret... Wait, movers and merchants. Periodically you will encounter a mover on random floors who can transport you down to... Or five levels, or back up to the top for a fee. Oh, okay, so I could skip some floors. Uh, you also encounter a merchant milling about hawking healing items and supplies that you might expect. His wares get pricier the farther you descend to the pit. Maybe he's giving himself hazard pay? So. Okay, so if I move floors, is it random? Whether I go up or down? Then again, I could just fight enemies and be done with it. Okay, so I guess with the dry bones, if there's like multiple dry bones, I have to take them all out. But if it's just one, then they just perish right away. So it's not bad. I'm, I'm trying to keep my eye out for anything fishy that might be going on. A fuzzy. Oh, it's just. Well, that normal fuzzy wasn't in the, the book. Hey, very nice. Five HP. That's good. That's good. So with his latest attack, uh, the sh shell slam, I think that's what it's called. Ah, I can't take it with me. Well, if anything, Ice Storm is kind of like Sleepy Sheep, except this uh, can actually deal damage when the, the enemies thaw out. So I will not take, I don't want to take it. No, bad sheep, stay there. Flower deals three damage to everyone. That's it's a good item, but I don't think I need it. Okay. Ooh, a badge. Oh wait, no, the reason the enemy has a uh mm, how much probably four Okay. Um Do you have the defense? No. Um no, I'm just gonna move. Oh, I don't have the. Okay. Out. I am curious to know. Okay. 
Okay, now it's down to seven. So a normal spin jump should do the trick. Yeah! So I have that badge for keeps. Until I get to a save. Okay. Yeah, that takes out everybody. Um, no, I don't. I keep forgetting that I don't have to quake him. Um, I'll take Koops out. You can easily take care of these guys. Eight. In case if anyone's lost track of where we are. Huh. That, that guy wasn't coming after us for some reason. This is surprisingly easy. First ten the first ten levels are actually pretty easy. Okay. The sleepy stomp executes superbly to make enemies sleepy. Level ten. Okay, what's this? Return to entrance. Nope, I don't want to go there yet. <sighs> Ooh, we got flying enemies now. Come at me, bro. Okay, swap partner. Bella. Just do a normal jump. I think the idea is to not use... A lot of FP or star power when you're just starting to go through uh, the trials. Because everything seems easy right now. Uh, I'm tempted to just take the Fire Flower with me, but... I'm, I'm, I'm good. I'm, I'm good on... I don't want the Fire Flower. I'm, I'm good. I'm good with the items I have right now. Oh, wait, wait. Uh, this cleft was from chapter two. So I could easily beat this guy. Oh, yeah, it's these chapter two enemies. Easy. Easy. All right. Um, okay. Let's use a hammer on you. Bonk. Okay, all right, yeah, this isn't bad. This isn't bad for now. We're getting a lot of coins as well. So that way we can always, like, buy more items and badges when we go out. All right, pokies. Now this enemy was... Chapter 3. Hmm. Multi bonk. What to do here? 
I can take Koops out, take out these two. Mario can jump on this guy. Okay, okay, that's good. That's good. Yeah. Okay, so level 18. So I think the dad's on level 18. Oh. Hello? Hey, what's up? I'm a mover. I know a few things about getting through this dungeon. For a few coins, I can move where you want to go. Okay, you can actually pick where you want to go. Um, so, actually, for the sake of the that kid's trouble, I'm going to just keep going. It's good to know that I could actually manually pick where I want to go. So that's good. Okay, so that guy's not gonna... Can I uh, strike him with an ultra jump? Uh, nope. Oh wait, but what if I... Uh... Okay, no, not quite, not quite. I wanna try... Okay, you wait. Up. No, I can't move to the left. Ah, dang it. All right. Oh, well, okay. That hit, apparently. Perfect. Beautiful. Mwah. Mwah. Beautiful. You are dumb. You are really dumb. For real. Okay. Okay, Paragoomba. Is that a spin jump? Was I able to do that? Okay, where are you guys going? Up or down? Okay, not a problem. Mario can take out this guy. Koops can just take this guy. <sighs> okay. Yeah, I mean, I may as well, like, fight these weaker enemies so I can get uh, some coins out of them. So that way I can pay that mover guy. Or merchants that I may come across. Uh, okay. Gotcha. Mm, that guy's got an item. Too bad he's not gonna use it. Okay. moment. Ah, there he is. Uh, the dad. The toad dad. The toad dad. Oh, no, I messed up. I goofed up. Uh, okay, but it's no problem. It's no problem. This can easily be resolved. Since these enemies are weak enough, I can take out these three. Cool. Don't 
go down the pipe. Get that coin. Uh, what? Who are you? Ah! Wow! Did you come here just to save me? Really? Ponte Jr.? Wow! Good. I have to get back alive. Show me the way out. Uh, level 18, so... Okay, let's go. So, once we get to level 20, will he just go out and I could just continue? I guess we'll find out after this fight. Okay, uh, easy. Oh, not the mist. Not the mist. Okay, thank you. Oh. I was kind of worried that it wasn't going to hit. That would have been a problem. Okay, let's go. Hey, the exit! Okay, Pinteen Jr., I'm on my way home. Alright, okay, he goes on ahead. And I got the fire drive badge that I <clears throat> that I already bought. Okay, but uh I think we're doing good on time here. Okay. So next stop, the zap tap badge. And uh the enemies might be getting stronger from this point on. Let's go. Oh, the spiky hammer. Or the <laughs> spiky hammer. Spiky Goomba is who we're fighting next. Okay, so. Hmm. Trying to be smart about this. Okay. Do, yeah, let's do a power shell. A spiky Gloomba, that's what they're called. And, uh, mm hmm. This Marvel Super Hammer will work fine. Maybe. No, that doesn't for that last guy. Oh, okay. All right, cool. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Ha uh, ha. Got lucky there. Ha uh, ha. Uh, that was kind of scary there. Didn't even need to spend that FP though. Getting a little worrisome now. Oh, not these clowns. No! Oh, okay, these, these guys are gonna be a problem. There's two more of them! There's two more of them! Okay. Alright. Destroy these fools. Yeah, because I don't want them stealing my coins. You hear me? None of my coins. None of them! Okay, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? That's it? Really? You're just gonna float up? Well, I mean, hey, it's your choice. I mean, it's not mine, but... <sighs> I'm so dumb. It's like, just, you know, like, not attack, and then just float up in the air. That's it. Um, yeah, I still have... Still hanging on to that ice storm. I guess what I probably could have done is use it 
And then use Mr. Mouse to steal that other Ice Storm. I don't know. Oh, Lakitu! Ah! Okay, can I... Will, will you attack as you go? No? Okay. I don't know when you show up. Or, oh wait, no, you were in chapter three. You were in chapter three. in here. Oh, you guys got good items, though. I got a lot, unfortunately. Well, I got badges to help Mario dodge. And now I'll just keep going with this. Drop any items. Stopwatch. That's not a bad item. Um. Uh. Mm, no, because I got the clock out ability. Okay, see, this is why I need to get the the strange sack so I can increase my item inventory because I'm left with the choice of like which items to get rid of. So, no. Boo! Ooh. That guy's got uh, a badge right there. Huh? Well, that guy's got a badge right there. That guy's got a gradual shrill. So I'm. I want to steal it. And, oh. That's not what I wanted. I was thinking of something else, but that's not what I wanted to do. Wow, I'm just really luck on a roll tonight. Okay, all right. Um, Miss Mouse, uh, if you would please. So I think his HP will drop after I take the badge. Yeah. Steal that badge. Ah, uh, his HP didn't drop. Unfortunately. Okay. Okay, that's not bad. Wait, how much damage did he do? Four. Okay. So they deal four damage. Get those flowers. Where am I? Twenty five. Okay. Hey, 
Mr. Mover! Hey, what's up? I'm Mover. I know a few things getting through this dungeon for a few coins. Um... Twenty-six. Ah. I think we're good. I... I think we're good. Let's just, let's just keep moving on. Bandits. Yeah! So you don't mess with me. You don't mess with me, son! Don't mess with me! Um... Uh, hmm. I am kind of curious. How much damage does... Koyo's Stampede Attack deal. How much damage does that deal? Um, one to six HP. Well, let's give that a try. Um, let's see. May as well try it out. Five FP. Only because I have the the Flower Saber partner badge equipped, so it's not like 6 FP. Okay, alternate L and R. Super easy. Ooh, pretty good. Um... See my FP just for a little longer. I, I I can I can take a hit. Oh no, no 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 no. Okay, good. I didn't want that. Three, four, five, six. Ooh. Okay. So. Koyo can hit enemies six times. Just like deal one damage six times. Not six damage once. So there's there's a difference. Okay, another little key too. Take out this guy. And Kayo can uh, gulp these babombs. The 3 FP. Ooh, wow, 6. See, it's a good thing that I got all my uh, party members powered up. Ah, oh, getting so many coins! This is good. This is good. Okay, another bomb. Uh, huh. So, how can I take out all these enemies at once? is the question. I mean, I could just steal it, but I'd be using an item. Um... Well, partner. Uh... Where are we? Uh, Coops, do you think you can help out for a sec? Uh, 
Um, yeah. You know, just gonna keep this fight simple. We're doing good on uh, health. So it's not... It's not too bad. seriously gone coins right now okay and this is the zap tap badge do damage to enemies that touch mario in battle so this is a good badge this is a good badge but how much okay it only costs three uh badge points so that's good um what can I get rid of? Uh, well, I mean, I haven't really used the power bounce a lot. So I can get rid of that and have Zap Tap equipped. So when enemies come at Mario, they'll get extra damage. So, now we only have... 20 more floors to go. So at 40, we'll get the Pity Flower Badge. And then at 50, uh, we'll get the Strange Sack. So, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna stop at 50. If I go any farther than that, then uh, it's gonna be stronger enemies and by the way, there is no save points down here. There are no save blocks. So, 20 more floors to go. We're getting there. Oh! These guys! I think I need the... 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 Um... The multi-bounce. I think this might be good to have. This might be a good thing to have. Okay, um, let's have Koops take care of these guys. Then Mario can just take out one of them. We're good on health, but we don't really need it. Oh! Sure! Okay! B-I-N-G-O, and that was his name. Oh, and full crowd, 150. Wow. Oh, no! Oh, I should have should have had Mario in front. Ah, sorry, Koops. That, that, that was my bad. Oh, great! Gonna double the amount of star points we get, which is one! And one times two equals two! Great! Well, at least that was the first time that's happened since uh, we uh, renewed that curse, so... Hopefully... It's... It won't run out. Get a hyper cleft, so these guys are a little more troublesome. Hmm. Okay, so I don't have the Quake Hammer. Okay, so I can use the Earth Tremor to take out the clefts, 
And then use Goombella to take down that Shady Koopa. may as well use the audience now, you know? Um, okay, Goombella. Do a head bonk. Okay, um, I'm definitely going to need some, uh, flower points, for sure. Makes me wish I had the Quake Hammer equipped. I should probably do that. Oh! No. Um, oh, wait. Hang on. Not all is lost. Um, okay, Goombello, head bonk this Parabuzzy. Yeah. And then Mario. The uh, multi bounce. Yeah. Oh no. Oh no. Oh, I forgot. Oh. Probably should get Koops out. Ugh. Not a big fan of those fuzzy beetles. Okay. Um, grab these coins. Okay, um... How much is it at the Quake Hammer? Cost two. Uh, well, the multi-bounce is okay. All right, let's just go. Okay, let's just go, let's just go, let's just go. Let's do that. Should be able to take all these guys out. Yeah. <sighs> okay. 
Okay. Pink fuzzy. Defense the hyperclefts have, but I sh no probably a piercing blow. Just for safety. Oh, what I should have done? I should have used my partners to to appeal when I can easily take the enemy out. I should have done. Even Ezra told me about this in the previous episodes. I got some sleepy sheep. I struck first. Yeah, you know, I'm gonna take you out because you are a hassle. Didn't help at all. Wow, I'm just really lucky. Yeah. It's not electrifying that enemy. Probably just because it's a shell attack. So this guy's got like an extra layer of defense? Six. Okay, we're getting close to 40. They're gonna, like, use their hyper strengthen attack thing, or hyper charge attack thing, then I could just pull Vivian out. Wait, no. How dare you throw that soda can at me? Appeal. Hi. Oh, hi. Okay, there, see? That deals damage. Oh, that guy's trouble. Oh, no. I don't think I can even uh, flip them over if I just jump on them. I have no idea. I don't think that'll work. So, now would be a good time for Vivian. Yeah, so even originally this cost 1 FP. It cannot go any lower than that because I have the Flower Saver P badge equipped. Wait, what the heck? It would have been my turn, right? Well, that's a waste of 1 FP. still alive so that's good ah uh, again with the para buzzies yeah. Yeah. 
Okay, it's just you. That's fine. Alright. So, jump on this. Wait. No, just to be safe. Okay, Vivian, attack this guy. First. Then use the hammer. On this flower fuzzy. There. Okay. Uh, floor 38, I think this is. Ooh, yeah. You know what? Sure. Let's use a sleepy sheep. Okay. Oh, for five turns. That's pretty good. I just realized I could have used Goombella. Well, actually, no. If I use Goombella, then this guy could still attack. Okay, good. Defense. Defense. I could use some defense. So yeah, I could just take my time with this. Probably, yeah. Switch to Goombella. Oh, but that wakes him up. Oh, that's a problem. Oh. I think... Okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Let's have a sweet feast so I can recover HP and also flower points. And then I can use Goombella to take out that guy and wait to attack the other guy the next turn. And then I have, like, plenty of uh, star power slots uh, to recover with my lovely audience right here. So let's give this a shot. No! Why with the poison troom? Why with the poison troom right away? Why the poison tree? I could have got that other big flower. Mm, but that's okay. We're good on health now. And enough FP to get us by. Well, that didn't wake him up. He didn't wake up for Mario, but he woke up for Goombella. Kind of odd. <sighs> okay. This is 40! And we got a, a merchant here. Alright, what do we got? What do we got? Really? Like... Why? A hundred coins for a single Thunder Rage. That is ridiculous. Although, Fire Flowers would be good to have. Okay, well, I'll talk to you in a second. When Mario takes damage, occasionally recover one FP. So how much does that uh, recover? Or, or how many B points? You need three. So that's not bad. Uh, that would be good to have. Uh, so far, I don't really, 
with these like badges, I don't really need these yet. Okay. Um charge. It's Quake Hammer. Um, the Sleepy Stomp. Get rid of that. Have Mario equip that. Okay, I will take... Uh... Huh. Actually, I could recover my flower points from here. I mean, it's kind of expensive for... 25 coins for... Just to recover, uh... Oh, wait. Can I only just buy one from this guy? Oh no, I can still buy it. Okay, so I'll buy one more. Okay, that should be plenty of FP to get me through the next 10 floors. And I will buy, ugh. I mean, this would be good, okay. You know, we got coins, and plus I got the refund badge equipped, so. Let's try that, the, the Thunder Rage. For 100 coins, oh, that's, that hurts. That hurts a lot. Okay, um, so we're good. So this is level 40. Do we got... Ooh, I think Ezra's home now. Hmm, gonna drink some water really quick. Hmm. Okay, let's continue. I don't know if Ezra's gonna be joining us tonight. He might be uber tired. Whoa! Okay, that was fast. Good thing I have the Zap to have badge on, huh? Huh? Am I right? I said, am I right? Uh. Okay. That guy in the middle has a dizzy dial. Uh, huh. I might regret this later. Uh, Goombella, why don't you use the Thunder Rage, you know? Just so you could also get that fuzzy beetle out of the way. That. Awful fuzzy beetle. Okay, and that guy's on the ground. Okay, no, they stay put. Okay. Welcome home. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. Um. Where, where are you at now? 
Uh, I'm in the pit of 100 trials. Okay. Okay. Uh, I, I just need to go through like the next 10 floors just to get the the strange sack so I can increase my item inventory. Okay. So I'll try, I'll try to make it out. It'll be, it'll be soon. Um, what about... No, because I think if I set them on fire with Vivian, I'll just set them off. Um, okay, no. I'm going to appeal with my partner first. Uh, and then use first tremor to take these guys out. Because it'll be quick with Poppery, but oh, that deals a lot of damage back at us. them out peacefully. <sighs> oh, four star points. Okay, we're getting a little more here now. Okay. Ooh, my guy. Oh, wait, I should have equipped my, uh, my ice badge. Oh, look at all these guys. So many guys. Oh, yeah. um. Um. Let's have. Wait, Coops? No, let's let's get Kayo out here. Stampede. Get some stylish moves in to recover our. Oh, that didn't hit that guy. What? Oh. Okay, well, take this guy out because he and his item are a problem. things even. That's what I want to know. Um, okay, Coops, I think normal hit should do just fine. Yeah. Poison Pokey, okay. Come here. Of course you have Life Shroom. Of course you have Life Shroom. <gasps> Wait, how many items do I have? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Ah. Oh, I know what to do. I know what to do. Oh! I didn't know about that. Oh! Oh no. Oh, this is gonna hurt. This is gonna hurt. Okay, well, we'll showstopper work. I don't know about the first guy, but. Let's try this out.
Okay, fingers crossed. Okay, cool, everyone. Except that guy. He lives, apparently. Uh, okay. This mouse is poisoned. Just for this fight, of course. Uh, swap. Oops. And then normal shell tunnels. So, apparently you can't steal items from spiky enemies that have spikes coming off their sides. Well, at least I can still get that light room. No! I mean, I've got the spike badge and all, but no! No! This is malarkey! This is bull malarkey! Ugh. Okay. Use the earth for all these guys. That's gets five. Okay, that's a lot of experience points compared to all the uh, other one points that we've been getting this whole time. Uh, don't disappear. Okay, cool. Okay, take out this guy. I can take him out with the multi bounce. Get them on the ground. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you don't. You don't mess with me, non son. Um, let's give Mario some defense. This should do it, right? Not quite. But it'll work. Uh, Coops, if you wouldn't mind. You'd be a gem. You are such a gem. Oh, great, of course. But the one star point we get, it's double. Great! Where are we right now? 46. Okay, we're getting there. Just three more floors of enemies. And that, that strange sack is good as ours. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, I think we're going to take this enemy out normally. Yeah. That's fine. Ah, ha! The 
See, that's what you get. That's what you get. Okay, you tip over. And your defense should drop. Yeah! Ah, there we go. Ah, we're getting so close to leveling up too. feeling that we may see a lot of those guys. So... Uh, let's get... So we just need one. So what can we safely get rid of? Mario's Super Appeal. Make Mario damage-proof when jumping on fire enemies. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. Deal more damage to them this way. See? Yeah, there's more of them. There's more of them. Badger in a minute, I imagine. Okay, another poison pokey. Poison pokey. Yeah, bring the super appeal back for Mario. Let him cheer for the crowds. close to the uh, to the 50th floor so I think it's safe to use this and then coops take them all out guys out. Yay. Okay. Uh, we're on 40. 49. Oh, that's it. That's it. We're done. We are done. Ah, oh, lost track there for a sec. Ooh. The, uh, Tone's even more green now. Level 50. You got a strange sack! An item that lets you carry up to 20 items. Yes! This is what we came here for. Ah, uh, and with that... Oh, actually, before I close this episode, before I call it a night, let's get out of here. Go all the way back to the entrance and uh, encounter this father and son reunion. My dad's back! Sorry for troubling you. I guess health and family really are the most important things, you know. I'll look for new work. I've got to be strong for my dear son. Thank you so, so much. I'll give you my treasure as a reward. It's really important to me, but nothing's more important than my dad. So here. You got a silver card, a parlor card that lets you play the paper mode game. Now, if you'll excuse us, and really, thank you so very much. You solved the trouble! Yay! 
All right, I'm going to save out here. And then I'm going to end the episode and then, like, save elsewhere. But, yeah, we have got the strange sack. We can now carry up to 20 items. And uh, Ezra just made it home tonight. Uh, it seems that he couldn't join us uh, tonight, even though he made it home tonight. But uh, possibly he'll join us tomorrow night. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Um, yeah, watch our old paper, our Paper Mario 64 videos. Uh, we have a Discord now. Uh, we've, you know, we've got other social media links down in the description below. So like Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, whatever floats your boat. Um, and, uh, oh, so I, uh, mentioned a little while ago I ordered a gaming PC. So, uh, because of the... Uh, coronavirus is going to be delayed for a couple more weeks. So probably like uh, around mid-July, which won't show up. So, uh, in that case, stay tuned and have a good night. Oh, they're, they're yeah, not... Now I show up. Yeah, now, now you show up. up. Yeah, now yeah. you show up. <laughs>